in the lens we will study where will the image form when we put object at a particular location. Here object is placed at a particular location then where the image will be formed. Here AB is the object and this is the lens. This is the one principal focus. So this distance is focal length and to form the image we take the rules number one from A there are two rays we have taken one is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will pass through focus and go straight the other we have taken in the direction of optical center and this will go undeviated straight and we find that both of them intersect at a particular point and after that if we see the object we find that both rays are coming from a single point and that single point is taken as location of the image. So image is formed at this point so we give it the name A dash. Then from B there will be a ray going along the principal axis straight. So location of image of B will be on the principal axis and this is at right angle on the principal axis. So from A to B it is a perpendicular. So from A dash we drop a perpendicular A dash B dash is the now image of AB. So this formation is done and now what we have to find out that uh, if this function focal length has a certain value then what will be the value of this distance of image. Okay, so what is given to us? We have placed object at a certain distance u. We have taken a lens which has got a focal length f and we want to find out where the image will be formed whether it will be at 10 centimeter, 20 centimeter, 50 centimeter or nowhere. So we have to find the relation between them and this relation we find by the two things. Number one rules of refraction that we have applied. Number two we will take help of geometry. Okay, So for geometry we will try to find out similar triangle as we have done in the earlier uh, derivations. Okay. Now here uh, we take uh, two triangles which are similar to each other. This is A, B, O and O, B dash, A dash. These are the two triangles. In this, these are the opposite angles equal to each other and this is right angle equal to each other. So third will be equal and these two triangles will be similar triangles. So their ratios will also be same. Ratios of what? Let us say AB upon A dash B dash. So in triangle APO and triangle A dash B dash O similar triangles. What happens in them is AB upon A dash B dash is equal to the base that is BO upon O B dash. O B dash. This is one equation. The other equation we draw from here. These are the two lines. This is one triangle. Uh, Let us give it a name and this is P. Okay. So P O F. This is one triangle. Right angle triangle and F B dash A dash. This is a right angle triangle. Now in these two right angle triangles these two angles are equal and they are 90 90 so they are also similar. So in 
similar triangles and what are their names P O F and triangle F B dash A dash what do we find the ratios that is P O upon O F is equal to perpendicular upon base is equal to perpendicular upon base A dash B dash upon F B dash now this P O P O is equal to A B because these two are parallel lines and these two are perpendicular to each other so we take the value of PO and put it as AB so this will become AB upon OF is equal to A dash B dash upon F B dash this is equation number 2 now this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 in this we combine the two this a b upon a dash b uh, a b upon a dash b dash okay right we make this correction transform it please this and this so i write it again what this will be p o will become a b and this a dash b dash will come here a dash b dash and this OF will go here OF okay now see the left hand side see the left hand side these two left hand sides are equal therefore right hand side will also be equal so we have BO upon OB dash is equal to OF upon FB dash why we are taking this step AB and AB dash these are perpendiculars we want to bring a relation between the length the distances which are along this line so we are interested to take BO OF FB and all these terms and we are interested to cancel out this and A dash B dash so these two are cancelled out so this is equal to this this is equal to this that means this is equal to this and this is what we need B O O F O B dash and F B dash now B O we can transform to U so this we can keep O B dash O B dash straight way we will go for V this we can keep O F O F is focal length this we can keep F B dash F B dash is neither of this so this we will have to change so now this we will make it this way B O upon O B dash is equal to O F upon F B dash and F B dash we will write as O B dash minus O F why I do that because OB dash has a measurement which we call V and OF has a measurement which we call F. Therefore, this is FB dash. We do not have any measurement for this. Therefore, I convert it into these two. And now we can put the values. Put the values. When we put the values, then BO, BO is equal to U and this U is this is the direction of incident ray so this is positive for our this diagram if this direction is positive and this is our origin always okay if this is our origin u is on this side b o is on this side so this will have a sign negative so b o we will place minus u the distance is u and the sign is negative okay minus u divided by ob dash ob dash is positive so that is plus v 
V O B dash is equal to O F O F is plus F divided by O B dash O B dash is again V minus F. So this is transformation into optical distances u, v and f and after that uh, we bring them to a single line by multiplication. So u into v is minus u v then minus u into minus f plus u f is equal to f into v that is f v like this. Now divide all of them with u v f. Okay, then if you divide it with u v f, what will be there? Minus 1 upon f plus 1 upon v and here f and v will cancel out 1 upon u, 1 upon u. Straighten it out. So 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon u plus 1 upon f. This gives us the value of v if u and f are given to us. If we use this formula to find out focal length and u and v are given quantities, then we can transform it that 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u. So we keep a lens somewhere, put an object and see where the image is formed. Then what are known to us? The distance of object u where the image is formed v. u and v are known to us. Put them in this formula and what we will calculate focal length. This is how we can calculate focal length and this is the relation between u, v and f and this relation is known as lens formula. And now there is a small thing known as magnification and that we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.